Let me find the camera first. Uh, I'm searching for the camera. Where's the webcam? Oh, I lost it. It's been a long time. I have not checked with anyone on Skype. <coughs> Let me find it. Yeah, I found it. Uh, can you hear me? I can, yes. Okay, good. How do I how do I pronounce your name? Uh, you can call me AK. Uh, it's Essen. Essen. Yeah. But, but your AK is good. But your is your 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 real mm. name is Essen Khan. Yeah, my real name is Essen Khan. But you also do you also go by Mohammed? Uh, yeah, I just used it um, mm. to make the ID. Oh, okay. All right. So it's just S and Khan and okay, I guess the camera is on. Can you see me? Not quite yet. Wait, I guess it's not connected. It did a little uh, twirl thing at first. Let me check now. Okay. On the camera. It's like okay, doing it's the little spin thing, yeah. Yeah, it's detecting drivers. <laughs> it's spinning. Uh, it's searching for the drivers. Windows update. It sucks. <clears throat> Okay. Uh, I guess I have used smartphone. Oh yeah, I guess that would work, huh? Let me. Uh, let me just check one minute. Uh, Skype. Camera. Video settings. I cannot yet see my camera here. Okay, it will take some time. I'm coming from smartphone. Let okay. me just connect it to... Two minutes. You want to hang up? No, no. I guess I can connect through smartphone. Let me check. So, here's the Skype. Can I see... It's not working, I guess. Got connected. And okay, can you see me now? Mm, nope. Still spinning. Uh, still spinning. Now? Nope. There you go. There you go. Okay. Well, it's not a good quality, though. <laughs> it's great. I cannot believe I get to talk to you. This is awesome. Okay. Dude, you like you like have a Star Wars headset on. You're you're. <laughs> yeah, I bought that from AliExpress. Ah, very nice, very nice. So, um, Asan Khan, uh, Essen, Essen Khan. Yeah, Essen, Essen. But you like to go by AK. Uh, yeah, I is, like that. Is that what your friends call you? No, it's what my, what I say to my clients to call me. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. So this is awesome that, um, first of all, you're doing great work. I really appreciate it. Um, it's so thank fun thank to be able to have you doing this. And um, I wanted to talk to you because um, a couple of reasons. One, I wanted to just know you personally. You know, that's fun. Um, okay. but But also... The people, my friends, um, you know, there's a lot going on in the United States right now with like the, you know, you've have you ever heard of Donald Trump before? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, you've heard of Donald Trump. I don't, I don't watch uh, that much, that much news, but I heard up, uh, about Donald Trump. I made a video for, I guess, uh, here on Upwork. I made a video for Donald Trump. I guess it went viral on YouTube. You, your video went viral. 
uh, no it was not my video after all it was uh, some clip uh, someone asked me to trim you a youtube it. clip yeah. yeah i just edited and sent it to them. Oh, okay all right very cool very cool so um you live in karachi pakistan yeah karachi yeah karachi very cool so i know nothing about pakistan at all and that's why i wanted to talk to you because okay when i hear pakistan i like get a little nervous because like mm-hmm. a lot of people in the united states are like oh, pakistan they're kind of like scary people you know what i mean and i'm like oh ak yeah. doesn't seem very scary he seems like a nice guy uh- <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, actually many people in the united states and other countries they think about pakistan it's uh, they are like uh, you know, uh, you have heard the news, like they are scary people, they, uh, what I should call that thing? Terrorists. Uh, terrorists, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got it right, <laughs> terrorists. <laughs> so you, um, how old are you, what do you do, what's your life all about? Uh, I'm, I guess, 21 years old right now, okay, I'll be 22 in j- coming January, nice. two months later. So I'm doing my graduation in software engineering. Uh, what was your undergrad in? Did you, you got a BA? Uh, I, BE, bachelor's in engineering. Okay. Software engineering, okay. Okay. Yeah. And so um, why did you go after your master's? What was the benefit of that? Uh, I'm not doing master's yet. Oh, you're not? I'm doing my bachelor's, doing bachelor's. I'm an undergrad student. Gotcha. You can call me col- college, college, college. You gotcha. can call me. Okay, cool. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> do you live at home with your family or do you live on your own? or what? Uh, yeah, I li- live with my family. How, do you have brothers and sisters, mom, dad? Like, tell me about your family. Yeah, uh, yeah I have one sister. Uh, he's a graduate and he did, I guess, in medicine, engineering, pharmacy. Yeah, uh, we call it here. pharmacy. Okay, pharmacy. And my brother is a petroleum engineer. He is in Saudi Arabia now. What kind? Uh, of, doing, what type of engineer? Uh, petroleum engineer. Oh, petrol. Petroleum. Petrol. Like yeah. gas. Petrol. Petroleum. Yeah, petroleum and gas engineer. Okay. And he's in Saudi Arabia, doing masters from King Fahd University. Nice. And I am the youngest. Ah, huh? okay. And does your sister still live with? <laughs> You guys at home? Uh, yeah, sister is doing a job uh, near to our house. Okay. Uh, in a, I guess in a soft uh, software house, not uh, in a hospital. <laughs> hospital, okay. And um, did you um, did they did you learn English like as you were growing up throughout school? Uh, actually, in Pakistan, we used to speak Urdu. Right. Okay. Uh, and there are many regional languages we call here. There are many regional languages, like uh, there's a caste system, and a language is spread out through the caste, like inherent from the parents. You know? So I am Pashto speaking from regional language, from regional point of view, or from caste system. And in Pakistan, our national language, as you know, it's Urdu. So we used to speak Urdu, but in school and at a growing age, from the very start, uh, in every school, they teach English as a, compuls- as a compulsory subject in every class, in every standard. So by the time a man grow up, he is able to communicate with abroad people. Though we have difficulty in the start, yeah, but uh, after some time, we are able to communicate easily you're uh, in English. Your English is excellent. Excellent English. Yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> oh, no, no. It's great. It's great. And, you know. Um, okay. Thank you. You know, you may have seen, as you're editing some of the videos, this map of India next to me. Did you notice that? Uh, we are uh, in the back. Yeah. Well, this is, um, it's the map of India that's, like, next to me as you're editing videos. So I've, okay. I've been to India, like, nine or ten times. And um, oh, great. all my friends in India say... Uh, like when they have a friend that's got a really bad, like they're a really bad driver, you know, they're kind of crazy. Mm-hmm. They go, you drive yeah. like a Pakistani. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we have, know, we, India and Pakistan, actually, you know. Yeah, actually, Pakistan and India, we don't have good relations. Right, you know? right, right. 
<clears throat> so um, Karachi, I'll have to look that up on a map, but um, uh, do you plan to stay there like to, for a job? Do you find that that's a good place to get a job after you graduate? No, actually, I'm planning to, uh, after I graduate, I'm planning to do my, do my master's. Uh, wait a minute, I guess uh, the video is played outside with this. Uh, okay, it's stopped now. So, uh, after my graduation, I'm planning to go to Germany to for master's. Gotcha. I was I was going to tell you the subject in which I want to do the masters. Uh, I guess it's data, data science. Data science. Data science. Okay. Data science. So what do you want to do with that? Be a programmer or what? Yeah. Uh, basically, I'll be a not a programmer. Uh, uh, actually, data science. I have only read about. Uh, I have only read about the data science. Uh, and all over the internet, it's the growing job of the over of the 21st century, right? So, as far as I have learned about database, it's like managing some data. Okay. But, but in data science, we have three different things. It's uh, machine learning, and it's database management, and the third one is artificial intelligence. Mm. So it is kind. It is a lot of used in nowadays. It is used in robots. You can say, like, uh, you, if you want to make artificial robot, you have to analyze a big data mm -hmm. and then make it run on a machine to give him artificial intelligence. Yeah, yeah. So um, <clears throat> are you coming up with that artificial intelligence to attack India or the United <laughs> States? No, nothing. I just <laughs> want to... <laughs> no, I just want to live a better life. That's just, great. Just that. That's great. Very cool. What do your parents do for a living? Do, does your mom work uh, or dad work? Or uh, My mom is just a housewife. It's not like in the United States and there are other countries. Like uh, both, like husband and wife, both do work. Right. You know? Yeah. But uh, here also, husband and wife work, but uh, kind of uh, not common here. Sure. So, so my father only works. He is in steel mills which is the iron making department he's a worker basically okay all right worker uh, and as a side job my father is doing a business of states uh, states you can call sale and purchase of house as a broker okay okay so he's as a side business he's doing as a working as a broker and for full time job, he's working as a worker in iron making. Department. Wow, he sounds like a hard worker. Uh, yeah, kind of. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. So, um, what do you like to do for fun? Uh, basically, what I usually do is uh, for fun. I usually work for clients. <laughs> I waste my uh, I waste my leisure hours and my fun time. Uh, doing talk with clients or work for them just yeah. that and so, so so you're doing video editing for me what how did you learn how to edit videos well uh, it's it's i guess when i was in ninth grade uh, ninth standard uh, i had a kind of interest in computer uh, i have not accept uh, up to date as a field or profession I have kind of interest in computer, so I used to do things, but normally at that time, I guess uh, computers were not common here. Hmm. So it was like Pentium 3 or Pentium 2, and people used it for only paint and that kind of things. Sure. So I know I, ha I had Pentium 3 when I bought that first. So with Pentium 3, I used to do things like uh, at that time, um, it was, I guess, Photoshop 7.0. I used to do image editing. Of, wow, okay. Yeah. So I learned from myself. Internet was not common here at that time. So I guess I installed Photoshop from CD. And then I practiced myself doing things um, by myself. So then uh, I left editing. 
images. Then I went for college. Uh, we call it 11th and 12th standards. Sure. So then I was uh, kind of a, you can say, a buggy of computer. <laughs> At that time, internet was common. What was the and, word you just used? A buggy? Uh, uh, a buggy, or you may say nerd. Okay, but you call it a buggy. Nerd. How do you spell that? B-U-G-G-Y? Yeah, B-U-G-G-Y. A buggy, kind of like a nerd. Okay. All yeah, right. kind of like a nerd. So a nerd of computer who is who knows many things about the computer. And so I have kind of interest in that. And after 11th and 12th standard, I choose it as a profession, like... Huh. Uh, to make softwares. I, uh, at that time, I didn't know anything about uh, how to make softwares and how the computer works. But as I grew up, uh, and it's been two years in this profession, so I'm kind of learning how things work in computer. And at the time, when I was in 11th and 12th standard, uh, I tried... Uh, you have seen the cartoons yes. in the past? Yes. Cartoons? Uh, the visual effects, uh, they call it. Uh, a person is changing, uh, uh, like a Superman. You must have seen a Superman. Mm -hmm. uh, a person uh, entering from ground and landing from a sky and the uh, earth is like, boo. <laughs> so I, I, used to, I used to see those things. Then my interest goes there. Okay. Then I tried how these things happen. Like, mm. there is no a person, there is no miracle that a person can land from a sky. <laughs> so, so I thought uh, how these things happen, this tends me, or this moved me forward to visual effects. So I started my own Facebook page. I, although I don't get, got likes on that page. <laughs> so it was, it was just for fun. Uh, it was just for fun. And I was doing, when I was shooting a video, so with my friend uh, in the college. Okay. So ev everyone was laughing on us. Nah, well, look how, <laughs> what are they doing? And the things like, we were like pretending like we are landing from a sky or we are flying over into the sky. So we are pretending like this and people were laughing. So, and we were shooting the videos. So then uh, I watched a tutorial on the YouTube, how to fly like a Superman ah, okay. and land like, and land like a Hancock. So after that, I watched the tutorial and installed the After Effects. So after watching uh, a lot of tutorials, and first my interest was on visuals to uh, visual effects. So I made things just for fun. And you must have seen a person hitting the ball, and at the first attempt, he hit the ball uh, into the bucket, which was a lot of which was way far from him. Mm -hmm. So I thought, uh, this this is not a normal thing. Yeah. So I I searched for a tutorial, how to basket at first attempt without looking at the net or anything. So I watched these tutorials, like these are like tutorials and made these uh, simple, these visual effect videos just for fun for to watch people and become amazed. Then I was um, I was just working on visual effects, and then my uh, brother he was here on vacations, so he suggested me, why are you wasting your time uh, <laughs> on visual effects? Why don't you earn some money through it? And I was like, oh, how can I earn money? <laughs> so <laughs> he he was a freelancer. He was a petroleum engineer, by the way, but he was a web developer by passion. He okay. was passionate about web developing. So he used to work uh, on Upwork, but when he was doing his ma masters, so he left Upwork and went for South, went to Saudi Arabia. Hmm. So he said to me, "Why are you doing this thing?" And I was like, "Oh, how can I earn?" So when he left off for Saudi Arabia, I thought uh, I can earn money through this. Then my then I searched on Upwork. My account was there, but I haven't bid for any other jobs. Okay. So then I started, and by the time I learned Premiere Pro, and for audio, I learned Adobe Audition all through the internet, all mm. by myself. Good, you, good for you. The That's awesome. Do you make 
Uh, now, this is a little personal question, but I'm just kind of curious. You can tell me no if you don't want to answer. But do you make more than your parent than your dad makes by doing Upwork? Mm. Like every month, do you make more money than he makes? No. No, he makes more money than you still. Yeah, he makes... Uh, there is a little difference between us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm just thinking that's very fascinating how you can make, you know, a, more money on Upwork in just a few hours. Yeah. So good for you. Well, um, so I don't want to take up too much more of your time, but I do want to note that you're a um, you're a Muslim, you said, correct? Yes. And and I'm a Christian. And so yeah. um, maybe in our next conversation, we could talk about I'd love to learn more about um, Islam and what that's all about for you. That would be fun for me to learn from you about that. OK, no problem. All right. So uh, um, I'm going to let you go because I know it's late at night. And uh, yeah, uh, and I want to include some of this conversation on my vlog because I find you very interesting. And uh, okay. so we'll just have another conversation in a few days or something. How's that? OK, uh, OK, no problem. I like your headset. You look you look awesome. <laughs> you look like the it was, you, they're like giant. <laughs> you look like the you should belong in that Star Wars car that that guy was out by my house. <laughs> yeah, that guy was crazy, huh? Yeah, I it was fun. Yeah, that was a cool that was a cool car. All right, man. Well, thank you so much for your work. I really appreciate it, and I yeah. love. Um, I we'll just keep working together every day. And I'll uh, shoot okay. some fun stuff, okay? Okay. Uh, by the way, I wanted to ask you, ask something from you. Yeah. I guess you are working in a film industry by making this vlog. I came to know that. Well, I... Uh, you're making a... Uh, you are making a film or something? Yeah, I have... Uh, this is actually my third uh, documentary. And so okay. um, I have a non-profit where I raise money to be able to pay for the these films... Um, the first film I did is called Mother India, Life Through the Eyes of the Orphan. And um, if you go to Mother, I can email you the URLs, but motherindiafilm.com. And mm -hmm. um, I did a documentary on orphans in the nation of India. And then I did a film called In Plain Sight on sex trafficking in the United mm -hmm. States. And then this film is about a Christian church that's kind of like bikers and kind of kind of rough around the edges kind of unique um, church and the history of that church. Um, okay. So the other two films I didn't edit, and this film, because of my lack of financial resources, the lack of money, I'm editing it myself. And okay. so I'm just um, squeezing it in a little bit every day. It's a <laughs> lot of work. Okay, great. Yeah. So <clears throat> basically you are also an editor, but on a different level. Well, I, I am kind of like you where I've just learned by doing it, you know? Oh. So the way that I make an income is by doing marketing, web, uh, graphic design, web development, you know, videography, that kind of stuff for corporate clients um, or nonprofit clients. And then okay. the um, documentaries are like a passion, like a heart, heart projects. So okay. I don't, the documentaries, I don't make money. I, it actually costs me a lot of money to do the documentaries. Oh, um, okay. But I, I really like filmmaking. I think it's really fun. And okay. so I wanted to do a daily vlog because I okay. think that's fun. But I knew that for me to have the discipline to sit down and do the editing every single day, there's just no way. It was going to become like overwhelming and not fun for me. So, yeah. so the filming part I can do, you know, pretty easily, pretty fun. So like right now I'm filming our conversation even here. Um, and this is the camera. It's just a simple, okay. just a simple, you know, Canon camera. Um, okay. and so that's what I use. And, um, uh, but for me, it's a fun way to, it's kind of like creative expression. And it's a way to remember things that my family does. And yes, I, can. I guess it's more bright now. Oh, no worries. <laughs> I just turned on the light. <laughs> and so for me to work with you to create something every day 
where you're mm-hmm. doing, you know, I do the creative part of shooting and, you know, going out and having fun doing something. And then you take yeah. the creative part and create something. I, I love that. I mean, I love that. Just keep, thank you, thank just, you. you know, like us to keep working together. Um, and I think that our, us having even conversations is pretty cool. Um, and including that on the yeah, vlog. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> because I'll tell you, people in the United States, you know, I don't know, I don't know hardly anything about Islam. And okay. um, there's a lot of fear and a lot of um, uh, conflict in the United States right now, yeah. especially mm. regarding um, Muslims and, you know, immigration and you know stuff that's happening in syria and you know all that kind of stuff so i don't know i just um i like to get to know people because yeah. you're not um you're not just like a pakistani or muslim or whatever you're ak that's what i want to know is ak but yet you have a heritage and a background because of where yeah. you grew up and your family and your religion that makes you unique. And I think that um, I, I, for me, by getting to know you, it stretches me, it helps me see things from a global perspective. And yeah. um, that's interesting to me. That's very fun. And I think other people would find it interesting as well. Yeah, Oh, so what do you do for a full-time job? Like uh, you are a corporate marketing manager or something? I do it um, like a freelancer. But I don't do it like on Upwork. I uh, okay. do it through contacts that I have, kind of like in the real world. So okay. it's like word of mouth, you know. So I do um, marketing for a Christian church in Los Angeles, a bunch okay. of their communications. And um, I do things for other companies and corporations that need a website or graphic design or branding or strategy or whatever. But I actually work from home. Um, and do all my work here. Yeah. Okay, that's good. It's just like a freelancing, but uh, using real world clients. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Instead of I don't get my clients online, I do it through yeah. like connections. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Great. Yeah. So you live in Los Angeles, uh, United States. I live in um, a place called Newport Beach. Uh, okay. which is in California. It's just south of Los Angeles. Oh, great. California. Uh, one of my also clients also live here. Okay. Uh, I guess if you know him, it's Bobby Blowford. I probably don't know him. No. Uh, I can send you the URL. Okay. okay. Uh, the Facebook ID of him. There's he lives a... in California. Oh. I don't know the city, uh, but he lives in California. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, maybe he's, I've run he's into a him. Gym... He's a gym leader, I guess, a coach. He trains people uh, on workouts and boot camps. Um, I might need that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, um, uh, I'm going to jump back into my work. And um, I really take, I really love just uh, having a chance to connect. And um, okay. I'll send you some files in a few hours when my day is done. And okay. uh, it's time for you to go to bed, though, man. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to sleep though. <laughs> it's bedtime. Uh, yeah. All right. All right, man. Good to see you. We'll talk soon. Okay. Thank All you. Right. Bye-bye. Right. Bye-bye.